eaten any bad food. That might be a fun thing. A fun experiment. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, back again with some more Project Zomboid. It's been raining all night. I don't know if it's ever going to stop. My goodness. Hmm, M16 full auto. I kind of want to uh, go a shooting today. Part of me says to go a shooting. We burned down the house yesterday. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I, I like that a lot. And then uh, another part of me says let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall to go a shooting. Lots of my lights seem to be off, which is interesting. I'm glad the electricity hasn't gone out quite yet. Is it raining still? No. We're good. We're good! Don't worry! Maybe my generator's going. Is that the case? Turn on. No, so it's turned off. Everything's fine. I'm just uh, a weird guy. I'm just a little weird sometimes. You know? You know how that go? Look at that. Look at that. Fill up those graves with some zombies. I didn't bring my shovel with me. So I ain't gonna bother with it today. And, uh, I don't think there's anything interesting in the church. I, I basically know everything that is, uh, around me. There's the church, there's some warehouses. It's interesting to me that the church, uh, doesn't prevent zombies. I guess they, they don't care. They're not, like, magically incarnated zombies. That is one thing we can infer from, uh, Project Zomboid. They're not the black magic voodoo zombies. Which is where the term zombie actually comes from. Fun fact? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not so fun. I don't know. Kind of fun for me to theorize. Oh, Jesus. Where'd all these guys come from? They're having a fucking midnight gathering. Welcome to our meeting of the Midnight Society. Boom. Think I'm scared of you, fuckers? I'm never scared. Never scared, you hear me? Fucking okay, assholes. Dirty, bloody sweater. My sweater's probably gonna be pretty bloody kinda shortly too. Here we go. I guess I haven't been down this way in a while. The uh, spawn rates are picking up. As they should be. It's been like a long fucking time. I've had forever to prepare. For this, uh, this happening. This happening that's happening. It makes me happy Ning. <laughs> Happy-ish? Ooh, there's a Ruger. There's a, a Ruger pistol rifle thing. Why'd I call it a pistol? Oh god, I'm dumb. Here. I said I wanted to do some shooting. Let's do some shooting, Tex. Alright. We're basically full up, right? Cool. See if I can attract some more zombie friends. But I should eat a little something first. Didn't even have breakfast. Just rushed out the door. How rude! How rude! Oh, I gotta do this too. If I get pain, it's probably going to reduce my accuracy. So, uh... I need to take some pain pills, too. Oh! It's it's healed! What a miracle! I brought along a bunch of fucking... Uh... Bandages from the dentist's office, assuming that I... Would need them to heal up. But I healed myself. Boom! That didn't work. That didn't work. This sucks. Come on, rifle. Why are you doing this? Fully auto! Hey! Killed a couple. <laughs> Click. <laughs> oh, that always sucks. Okay. Here, throw this on the ground. I threw it on the ground! I don't want to go find more ammo. I don't give a fuck. I threw it on the ground. 
Now they're all lurking over here. They probably lured them out of the woods. Yes, no? Maybe? I don't know either. Beta blockers. Junk. Y'all got fucking junk. Give me something good. Cockroach. <laughs> That's not good. I don't want that. Thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. More pain pills? I keep. Yeah, okay, I keep. I don't need them at the moment, so I'll stash them in the doctor bag. Maybe I'll remember that they're there? Maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> Just chance upon them at one point and be like, Oh, I need these things. I was looking for disinfectant and I found this crap. It's all crap. Five dollar bill, five dollar bill. I had a pretty good crowd of zombies going. They just departed post haste. There's an axe there, but it's oh god, it's in relatively poor condition. So I ain't gonna bother with it. Anybody over here? I guess not. Oh, I heard the sound of flies. Flies around the corpses. That's that's a new thing. I guess so. It's a little easier to locate them or tell if they've been rotting. Hmm. Yep, I lured a few more zombies up here. Actually, I don't know if these were here, but I assume not. They're clustered up pretty good, ain't they? Oh, my fucking baseball bat's gonna break too. Well, that's not right. I eat this energy bar because I woke up early. I woke up early again. It's a long day, you know? You wake up at 3, and then you fall asleep at fucking 8? How many hours of sleep is that? 6? Mmm, not good. Not good! I guess it's 7. That's a little better. Or really, you should be getting 8. And if you're all by yourself depressed in the zombie apocalypse, you should be getting 12. <laughs> How can you sleep 12 hours and still be tired? Depression! Da 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 da! Mm hmm hmm Oh. Oh! Oh my! Yes, we're going to be practicing our, our shootery today. Everybody likes a bit of shootery, don't they? Yes, quite. Unbox these. I need this. Oh, revolver. Smith, Smith and Wesson revolver reloads differently. That's pretty fucking legit. Dang. I like that. Alright, so let's see. Aiming. We're getting up there. We're at 203. Oh. Dang, that's loud. 203.5. I'm gonna attract some more zombies, aren't I? Yeah, I'm a little better with this one. There's a little bit of pop. Go ahead and enjoy that. Ah. Oh. You guys want my, my pop? Too late, I drank it all! Get the fuck out of here! You don't know me? You don't fucking know me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think this might be louder than the other rifle. That other rifle was shit. This revolver's pretty cool, though. Yeah! Get him! Uh! Fuck yeah! Feels good! Oh god. Getting a little close there. See if we can get him into a, like a big crowd. I think you can't really miss, can ya? There you go. You're getting ready to do a Michael Jackson thriller dance. Cause it's the thriller! Thriller night! We gotta reload again. This is going pretty good. 7 EXP. I'm enjoying this. Wow, that wasn't the one I was aiming for, was it? Bam, bam! Fuck everybody. What you wanna do? Die? You wanna die? Just come over here, son! I'll 
fucking brain every last one of you. It's what I do. I really like the guns. I was always scared to use them, but once you learn how fucking effective it is, it's it's hard to say no. Oh, there's a Ruger. Another little handgun. With only four bullets for it. I ain't gonna waste my fucking time. No thank you. What a kind gesture. But please. Please no. Hey bro. Give me your money. Give me your money! Oh, I hit that guy from quite a ways away. It's like I shot him with a gun or something. <laughs> yeah, Dayton, that's kind of what guns do. You can you can kill things from quite a distance. Oh! Is that why people use them? I thought it was just for the cool factor. Pull out your gun and, like, make the little click noise, you know? Even though your gun probably already fucking cocks itself. While you pull the trigger, it's a double action. It's basically uh, something that every gun made these days does. But if you want to make the little click sound, you just release the hammer and put it forward. And then once you're ready, you can, you, can, uh, you know, pull the hammer back. And it goes click. And somebody's like, oh shit, now he really means business. And I'm like, yeah, bitch. What you know about me, kid? Not a fucking thing. Back up. Back up. Back up. Aww, this lady had a dolly. I feel kind of sad for her. It shouldn't have, shouldn't have happened this way. I'm so sorry. There we go. Fully loaded. Hell yeah. I love this gun. This is my favorite little gun ever. Forever ever? Yeah. My favorite big gun is the this fucking shotgun. Shotgun's real nice. It'll take care of a lot of stuff for you. And I got lots of money. Just kill things and take their money. Not people. Only things. We never point this at a person, okay? It's one of the rules of gun safety that I learned in Rex Quando. <laughs> Yeah! That was weird how she died, though. I thought she'd die face down, but instead she, like, turned around and fell onto her back. Which, if you shot somebody in the fucking brain, uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. They're just gonna be like, bleh, eat dirt. Eat dirt. Done. Dead. Over. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh! The gun is my favorite. And it's a, a good way to clear things out, too. There we go. Dirty bandage. I don't need none of that. Tracking. Tracking. Oops. Oops. Click. There's the click. Well, at least anything that was in the parking lot is now coming to eat my brain. Boom. Oh, damn. How do we get this dodgy one? There. I don't know why I was missing her so much. Oh, there's some more. Hey, buddies. How you doing? How you living? Good? That's great. Click. God damn. I don't know where all these zombies are coming from. I guess I should... Oh, they're coming around the fucking side of the fence. Seems pretty obvious now, doesn't it? Once you see it... I've only got three three reloads left. I'm gonna save myself a little trouble here. That's enough. We got enough, okay? Everybody down. There you go. That's a good stupid. That's a good stupid. You stay down. Right, that axe is looking pretty good, but I don't want to take it. I got a lot of axes. Really, truly. Probably 10 plus with uh, all the shit that I've collected so far. Would another one hurt? I guess not. But it's uh, not a priority. Priority right now? 
leveling combat skills. I want to be the best in combat, you see. Nobody can match me with a baseball bat. And my bat's gonna break soon, too. I guess that's a good reason I have the gun, right? Why not? The golf club's looking pretty good, too. But I think the durability's uh, a little shit on that. Mmm, chips. They look like that bag of, like, kettle cooked chips, you know? Shit's so good. Get the jalapeno ones. Oh! Put them on a sandwich? Oh! <laughs> Fuck! That's ah, so amazing! Oh. Alright. Coo. Alright. Coo coo. Alright. My dad beats me. Alright. Not, 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 not my real dad. Cool. Alright. We've been to the Gigamart already, but I'll come back because it's kind of like I-Mart in the Philippines. And I go there relatively often. For every holiday, they have your holiday shopping needs. And it's fucking the beginning of October and they already have Christmas stuff up. <laughs> ah! Philippines, you funny. You funny. I don't know why you're so funny sometimes. Hmm. If I could find a bathroom and get a bath towel, that would be a good thing. What is up with these windows? They're not windows? What am I supposed to think here? Hmm. Oh, it's second floor. I see, this is where you go to like, look for people who steal and stuff. You're like, oh, go get that person. Day stealing stuff. We saw you. We saw you from the second second story window that we have overlooking the whole store. Now you're fucked. You're fucking fucked. We're gonna take you to the fucking pen and somebody's gonna fuck you. I mean, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I got a wife at home. <laughs> My wife keeps me extremely happy. Thank you. But somebody's gonna fuck you. <laughs> You mock my words. Oh, there was honey. I'll take some of that. Scrub through this store just a little bit. There's always some shit that I didn't bring. You know? I don't understand. So hard to completely clear something out in Project Zomboid. Especially by yourself. If you got a team. Two or three people. Piece of cake. But uh, by yourself. Mm, super hard. Same as in Rust, which is a game that uh, I did. I did a series for that. The episodes were super long, uh, and things moved relatively slow, so I decided not to come back and do more. And Rust has only gotten worse in recent years. Uh, yeah, they had some good ideas. I really liked when uh, Blueprint Crafting came along, so you could only use an item if you had uh, researched the blueprint for it or something like that. But then they changed it up and now you gotta have like a bunch of components and weird shit like that. It, it doesn't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I don't like it. None too much. So I uninstalled it. I uninstalled it. I don't give a shit neither. I do kind of miss it sometimes. That's why I'm talking about it right now. <laughs> Things remind me of it, you know? Package of soy milk. Hmm. It's fresh now. Could go rotten. You never know. There's a steak. I haven't eaten any bad food. That might be a fun thing. A fun experiment. Let's just eat some bad food. You mean like food that is uh, kind of gross? I mean food that's fucking rotting. Disgusting curdled cream. Chunky milk. You know what I'm talking about? Delicious. Anyways, yeah. Rust component crafting. Jesus Christ. What a ridiculous thing. Hey, I want to build uh, doors. And they're like, okay. You need to find gears to build a door. Like, what? No. <laughs> It used to be you could just make whatever you want as long as you had the blueprint, and now it's like... Blueprint and also this fucking lame thing. 
which honestly I didn't even pick up when I started playing it again. Maybe that's why I did horribly and got robbed really fucking quick. That's another part of Rust. You can't take it too seriously. Kind of like any video game, obviously, but especially in Rust, you're like, ugh. I spent 30 hours collecting a bunch of wood and crap to make a, a great base and some dude came along with C4 and just blew it all to hell. Well, I guess I deserved it because I didn't, didn't spend as much time. You have to live your life on this game or else. Or else! Hmm, I don't think I've explored this back part very well. Maybe had a little dip in. But since then I've discovered some new things. New and fantastic things. My goodness. It's really coming down out there. I guess that's a good reason for me to uh, just try and stay inside. Figure out some shit to do. Everything's gonna be fine. Want some orange juice? Want some orange soda? Yeah, dude, I like orange soda. It's the best. Followed closely by strawberry soda. Just because it has an S in it. Everybody knows that. Oh, grapefruit soda. It's so good. Grapefruits are fucking good. I don't know why I like bitter tasting things. My wife often uh, will give me a fruit and she's like, don't eat the seed because it's bitter, and of course, I I end up eating the seed. She's like, how can you eat it? I'm like, well, it's got an interesting taste to it. It's a taste that I don't get that often. Ooh, and there's another taste outside. The taste of death. You see those grapes? That's death. You see that cheese? That's death. Everybody watch out. That's death. Hmm, I've got nails... Let's unpack these. Maybe I can get a, a little sheet rope going. It didn't work the last time I tried, as I recall. I need my hammer. Look, there's a bitch out there. What are you doing, bitch? I'm gonna come down there and fucking get you. Oh, this is a clean sweater. All right, I wear this one. I wear this sweater and I rip up my dirty one. <sighs> dirty bloody sweater. We had some good times together. I want you to know that. I'll always appreciate your service, okay? But now, you need to be a rope. I'll always remember you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mmm, what the fuck? Why can I not sheet rope? Oh, man. I don't understand. Whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down there, I'm gonna get that bitch. I can't just wander my streets, huh? For Tamriel! Or something. There you go. Oh, is she rich too? Oh, you rich, huh, bitch? Right? I don't even have a hundred dollar bill yet. You got my first crisp one hundred dollar bill. And I'll give you the sheet rope because uh, I didn't end up using it. And here's a pop can. You're welcome. Goodbye. I'm going to this bookshop. That's what I would want to do. See if we can find some goodies. Oh, there's an upstairs too. Is this where the bookkeeper lives? The bookkeeper? I guess that's what you call it. Hey, adult magazine. Hey, hey, hey. Farming for beginners. Master fishing. Dang. Master first aid. Master electrical. Never any of the master things that I need. Master carpentry, how about? We're gonna be fucking right there. Not really. I think we have one more. One more skill point to go. But still! Oh, first aid is ready to level two. Sure, why not? Whatever. Trapping for beginners? I've read it. I've not done any trapping. I guess I'm just dumb. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess I'm just stupid or something. Hey, baseball bat. And it's a piece of shit. Maybe I could just fix the baseball bat that I have. I've got some wood glue, don't I? Maybe I left it. 
Now oh, here it is. Wonderful. What does that say? Used an improvised firearm and melee weapon repairs. I don't think I've ever seen a firearm lose durability at this game. Then again, I haven't used firearms that much, so there's that. Wood glue served a great purpose. Rest now. He's used half of his energy to restore just a bit of my uh, my baseball bat. Hmm, I could repair that other bat. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. I ain't gonna bother with it. Oh. So glad the fridges are still on. We're living the easy life. The sweet life of dating and zombies. Whoa, look at all the shenanigans we get into. You better add a laugh track so people will know what's funny. <laughs> Any show with a laugh track is uh, not confident in their abilities. Is the library zombie? You in here, bro? I guess not. Maybe he's downstairs. I hear it in my left ear. So he's not going to be in this room. I don't think there could be a zombie in this room. If there is, he's quiet. Too quiet. Be careful, there's a trap! Some painkillers and shit in there. Not really interested in that. What I want is, uh... More bookies. More bookies to readie! Farming. But it's not the farming that I want. Farming for 5 to 6 skill. Yes, this is exactly what I need. Thank you so much. I will be doing some reading of this in the coming days because uh, I am doing a bit of farming now. Don't you know? Did you see my, my farm there? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. I put a lot of work into that there. A mm, little bit of room left here for some non-perishable goods. Here's some pineapple. It's going to make me a little bored, but it's so fucking delicious. Oh... How could one not enjoy pineapples? They're so good, and then you eat so much, and then your mouth hurts. <laughs> you eat so much that your mouth hurts. You know what I'm talking about? There's a nicely repaired baseball bat. Probably won't need it anytime soon because I repaired the one that has lasted me for like three episodes, four or five episodes. Oh, uh, but I'll just keep it. Just in case. Just in case. You never know. Here's where I think the zombie might be. No, we checked this room already. Where the fuck? What the shit? Maybe he's at this door. I don't hear it banging anymore. Oh yeah, I do. Where are you? Is he in the eatery? Oh, it's right there. Jesus. Hello. Lovely to see you. Play it. Alright. I got a key and a dollar. Hell yeah. Suck on it. Advanced fishing. Hmm. Well, our fishing's pretty low. We might need it at a later date, though. Do I have this already? Master cooking. Expert carpentry. I think we have the expert carpentry red already. Yeah. Hmm. Master cooking. I, I keep thinking that I've picked this up already, but it couldn't hurt. Have a little bit more. Why not? Expert carpentry, farming for intermediates. I've passed the intermediate skill level. I'm a fantastic farmer, thank you. Master farming. Okay. Take one. Sure, why not? Fishing for beginners, advanced fishing. You have like the step up from fishing for beginners? Hmm, farming for intermediates, trapping for intermediates. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever end up trapping things. Advanced fishing, advanced trapping, expert fishing. Hmm. Expert fishing, that could be useful. Just peruse. We'll peruse their catalogs, yes. 
advanced trapping. I, I, I really don't think I'll ever end up getting there. But you never know. I could surprise myself. This bookshop ain't got shit. Slam! Fuck everything. I think I've been in here. There's dead bodies and the door is broken, so... That's a good sign. And I missed the key. Probably wasn't collecting keys at that point. Anybody in here? Nope. Good. There's a rake, a rope, wooden crates. Ooh, a box of MREs. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Every time, fuck yeah! I'm getting pretty packed. Pretty packed full of stuff on here. But that's alright. I keep loading it up. We're not going too far. I promise. I promise. There's a little bit of yeast. Some bleach. Fridge is full of shit. Mmm, Chardonnay. That would feel so fancy. With a glass of Chardonnay. Oh yes. My goodness, oh me. Alright. Let's put some of this shit down. And the day's almost over already. God damn. I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Expert cooking, master farming. Well, okay. I got another master farming that I don't need. I will burn this book post haste. Trapping, advanced farming, advanced fishing. This is my uh, bookshelf for now, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> sure. You can do that if you want. Master farming. I'll start a fire with this. <laughs> Part of master farming is burning your books. Everyone knows that. Stick the MREs in here because I don't know. Because I don't know what 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 do you want? I'm supposed to just carry around this box of shit all the time? No, nope. ain't gonna happen. Adult magazine can go. I'll just stuff this full of full of shit. Who really cares? You know, I can't find anything anyways, even when I'm specifically looking for some shit, so fine. Here. Just have it all. It doesn't even fit. Tits. Tits and shit. Shitty, pissy tits. <laughs> you got soy milk. But you shouldn't drink that if you're a man. Because it contains some estrogen, or estrogen substitutes, and uh, that ain't good. That ain't good, it's going to trick your body, and your body's going to be like, oh, I should grow boobs now? <laughs> you want me to stop making hair on your face? Okay, that's fine. We can do that if you want. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, but the thing you ate told me that that's what we should do, so we're, we're just going to start doing that now. And, uh, if you don't like it, then the too fucking bad, I guess. I think all this jarred stuff and, uh, colas and whatnot is gonna be just fine in... in a regular-ass cupboard. And if I'm wrong, then we will have wasted a lot. Hmm. Is there one that will fit all these things? Curious. I mean, I know it's a lot of stuff, but surely it's got to fit somewhere. I want to fill up all the cupboards! Hooray! Expert level! Fantastic. Wonderful. Great job. 10 out of 10. Hmm, how did we do on that aiming? We got 20 points of aiming. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. I think you get extra points. You get half a point for just shooting the gun and maybe a full point. At least a little bonus if you kill a zombie, I believe. We'll have to do some testing on that in the future. I still got my fucking gun with me. I decided I like that thing. It could drag around a shotgun too, but it's so heavy. My god. How'd it get so heavy? Dirty rain poncho. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Wood glue can go. Probably will need the rain poncho. I take it back. <laughs> My mind will be changed shortly. 
Let's put this and this in a bag. There you go. And, um, I got a water bottle somewhere, no? Yeah. Let me just pull this water bottle out. I can fill it on up. I'll fill both of these from the sink before I have to start drinking from the toilet when the uh, electricity and water goes off. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, honestly. I'm of the opinion that my uh, game has just glitched out in some way and uh, it's just never going to happen. Which I guess is okay. I mean, what the fuck ever. It's good news for me, but it doesn't uh, make things as interesting as I would like. I ended up building lights and all this shit for nothing. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Ridiculous. 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 Oh well. Shit happens from time to time. I've been in here before. Oh yeah. Definitely. There's a power cord, which, if you're in a pinch, you can use that to hang yourself. I'll, I'll consider that. <laughs> if I need to, I'll fucking do it. Don't put it past me. I don't really feel the need to. I haven't for a long time. And then, like, if you get past the, the point of suicide, just, like, get to the other side. Make that your goal. And then you'll look back and you'll go, wow. That was a stupid thing I was about to kill myself over. <laughs> literally. Quite literally. And, you know, people can tell you to your face, try to put things in perspective. But you're not gonna listen to anyone, are you? You know what's best. How can you tell me about my life? Blah, blah, blah. Bro, we've all been there. And if you haven't been there, good for you. <laughs> Keep up whatever you're doing, because it's working, I guess. But honestly, I think most of us have been there. That's an assumption, of course. I don't really know for sure. Ain't got no proof one way or the other. But I'll tell you from my experience. Just get to the other side. It's gonna be okay. And it is. It's been fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad now. <laughs> I would have missed out on so much awesome shit if I just like blew my head head off or uh, took a bunch of pills or hung myself with a power cord. Ah, good choice, Dayton. Go ahead, pat yourself on the back for that one. Pat, pat, pat. See? That's what you gotta do sometimes. Let yourself know that you're doing a good job. It's not like boastful or some shit. It's just encouragement. And you know what? Humans need encouragement. <laughs> a lot of times you don't get it from outside forces. So if you want to tell yourself, you know, I, I really think uh, I appreciate the thing that I did. I appreciate the thing that I did there. And usually you don't, you know, say it. <laughs> you just say it in your head, you see? Because your brain, it can be fucking wonderful and encouraging and amazing. Or it could be a little asshole that sits up there and tells you to kill yourself. You need to keep your fucking brain in check, is my point. Like, it's not an easy thing to do, that's for sure. It takes years and years of practice. I, I've been practicing 15 years, basically. Since I was 16, uh, I think that was my lowest point in life. You know, edgy teen, hormones running around and shit like that. And then, uh... Yeah, I started concentrating on being positive, at least with myself. I still make really negative jokes all the time. And people are like, how can you say that? It's like, well, because I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't agree. I just, I just thought it was funny. And really, yeah. What's funny to me is what matters to me. What's funny to you? Okay, you're, you're allowed to have your opinion and be like, that's, that's not funny. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to think it's funny. I'm not trying to sway you to my way of thinking, you see. You are trying to sway me to your way of thinking and say, stop that, stop that joke, blah, blah, blah. It's not funny. I, I don't, I don't care, honestly. You want to try and get me fired from a job? Go ahead. 
if you can find out where I work at all, I mean, you'll find, you'll find, uh, yeah. You'll find that much of my work is contracted, so uh, I'll just find another person, contract with them, done and done. And then, uh, you know, you can't, you can't alert everybody in the whole world that this guy's an asshole because he told, he told a mean joke one time. And I've actually had people tell me that before. They're like, oh, you should be careful what you say because the internet doesn't forget. And I'm like, I don't really say anything that offensive. I'm not calling for fucking race wars and all this shit. Like, every once in a while I'll be like, uh, here's a good example. There was a, a BuzzFeed article or something like that. And it was about, uh, the position of power and who is... Whoever is in the position of power is like that that defines what sexual harassment is or something like that It's like if the girl if the girl feels wears sexy clothes It's because she wants to be looked at so she's the person in power so it can't be sexual harassment But if she You know fucking if you're dressing her in the in the clothes then obviously it's sexual harassment obviously this was from uh like a, a game dev standpoint Basically, a game dev had dressed up a character in a way that some fucking people didn't like. And they were like, Wah, read this BuzzFeed article. I'm like, what the fuck? What is any of this? And then I, I commented that, uh, yeah, I thought it was funny that one of the, the pictures they had was like a girl in a wheelchair as, as the example of the hot girl. Which, you know, I'm not saying everybody in a wheelchair is, is broken and horrible. You know, that's not true at all. You know, you've, I've seen some smoking chicks in wheelchairs. <laughs> um, my point was that uh, it's extremely forced. You know what I mean? It's because it's a BuzzFeed article and they're trying to uh, include everyone. But I'm a hate monger for uh, pointing it out. You know what I mean? And then they're like, be careful, be careful. The, the internet never forgets. And I'm like, dude, remember me all you like. Don't worry about it. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're thinking of me so hard every single day. What a nice thing for you to do. Where did my fish go? I had a bunch of fish, didn't I? I'm losing my mind. I don't see them. I've only got the nine fish. I thought I collected... Oh, there. <laughs> I guess it's because I started walking? Oh no, because the bag is full. Duh! Duh and a half, bro! I guess I can make some time. Climb up this here sheet rope. I don't think I have any room up here, though. I saw one that had only 40... 45? I'll take it. i take it. Put all this shit on there. But yeah, um... I don't know. Virtue signaling is probably the thing that pisses me off the most, you know? Like, I'm a good person. I'm better than you because, because. It's like, no. You, you're trying much harder to make people think that you're better than me. I don't really care if people think I'm a good person or not, you know? I've always been kind of indifferent to the opinions of others. Just because that's, that's my personality. Much of my personality is just like, eh. You think what you want. But... These are the people that don't want you to think what you want. They want you to think what they want. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just fucking ludicrous. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to pay you any attention. And that's what really kills them the most. If you uh, engage with them, then they're like, ha ha, I'm winning. I'm converting this person to my side. But if you just tell them, look, you're not going to convert me to your side. I'm going to keep thinking what I want and uh, you're going to keep trying to convert me. But it's not going to work. Because I am who I am. And uh, I guess you are who you are. But I never tried to change who you are. So take a take a page out of my book, would you? <laughs> they won't. Spoilers, they won't. They'll go find another person to call uh, sexist or racist. <sighs> God, I went off on a tangent there. I hope I made sense. <laughs> Probably in editing I'll be like, let's just cut all this out. No, I try not to do that. Some stuff I do cut out, um, yeah, but largely this series is completely contiguous, 
and uh, mostly just uh, things that, that come to my mind or bug me or are going on in my life. And sometimes they're even Project Zomboid related. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you guys so, so much for watching this far. If you have made it, I'm going to get a little bit of sleepy sleep in-game and IRL. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. That is always appreciated and helps the channel to get out there, which is super cool. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week with some more Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.